graceful flight of a bird is only possible because its light yet strong wing muscles can generate sufficient lift and thrust. By flapping its wings, it can move the air quickly enough to keep itself in flight. A 20-foot runway is necessary to give a take-off for this man-operated machine of the air. And defying death, the intrepid inventor himself sits at the controls and hurls himself into the sky. Human attempts to copy the birds have traditionally failed because our bodies have not such an efficient power to weight ratio. Which is not to say that some of us don't continue to try to make our own way through the air. In fact, human powered flight is now possible. In 1977, the Gossamer Albatross was piloted and pedalled across the English Channel in 2 hours and 49 minutes. But in the early days, we had to wait for the internal combustion engine, which was comparatively light, but which could put out as much as 15 or 20 horsepower. People still weren't satisfied, though. They no longer believed the doctor's ancient and gloomy predictions that the body would disintegrate at speeds over 50 miles per hour. Instead, they wanted to go faster and faster. And this is where Rolls-Royce enters the story, probably the most successful partnership in the history of engineering. Henry Royce was famous for the quality, reliability and new thinking in his engines. While Charles Rolls was one of Britain's first and keenest aviators, the second person in